the NES Classic Edition has returned to store shelves. Let's see what's inside the box. Thank you so much for joining me today. Yes, the Nintendo Classic Edition has returned to store shelves. And it's been about a year and a half, a little over a year and a half since they were initially released. Nintendo did not prepare for the outrageous uh, demand for these. So they've put them back on store shelves and in large abundance. It's actually a few days after the second release date and I was able to pick one of these up. Just had to look up on the internet where I could find one. Found one at Target and drove there first thing in the morning. They had, I believe, eight of them left in stock. So this is the second generation, if you want to call it that, of the release of the NES Classic Edition. And the box is relatively the same. Uh, we've got a list of all of the games here on the back. There are 30 classic games. All three of the Mario Brothers, Castlevania 1 and 2, Ninja Gaiden is in there, Zelda 1 and Zelda 2, Mega Man 2. Uh, also things like Balloon Fight, Bubble Bobble, and Pac-Man uh, are also available on this. But let's go ahead and open it up. I really wanted to get one of these whenever uh, they first came out back in 2016, late 2016. But I was working at Walmart at the time, and I wasn't allowed to, to get one. I had to, they only got five in the store. And uh, when you work at Walmart, you have to give everybody else um, a fair chance before you can go out and grab one yourself. So I was at the mercy of everybody and they did not have mercy on me at all. So, uh, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna open this up here, see what we've got in here. This looks like a really cool insert. Uh, cooler insert than what they put in with the, um, oh yeah, that's super cool. That's awesome. So we have this right here. Uh, the Super Nintendo didn't come with anything anywhere near this cool. The insert in it was kind of lame, but that's super cool. I would frame that and hang that up. I would. I don't know if you would, but I would. And uh, that also is the instruction uh, as well. All right, this is super cool. I'm happy to have one of these because yeah, I just didn't get to have one the last time and I was bummed out that I didn't get one. So power reset, which I don't really think that, that yeah, that does actually act, act as a reset. It sends you back to the, um, to the title screen. Here's this. The actual system itself got a little bit closer to frame and they still only come with one controller and they are still only $59.99 64 something after tax uh, but I think I paid what was it 79 or 69 for the um, SNES classic and it came with two controllers so I guess that's where the uh, extra $10 came from. Actually feels like the old school Nintendo controller. I would hope so. Looks exactly like it. Uh, just the difference is this right here, which can be used on the Wii, if anybody's still playing the Wii. So then we have our plug-in. Uh, not much has changed. Actually, nothing has changed. It is exactly the same system. Uh, I just don't know if that insert is any different than the last one or not. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get everything out here for you so you can see firsthand what's inside this box. So inside the box, you get the NES Classic Edition, one controller, your plug, and your HDMI cable. Uh, I will say the cable that I got with the Super Nintendo Classic Edition, uh, the, this USB, which is meant to plug into here and then plug into the back here, uh, mine went bad really quickly uh, with the SNES Classic. So I'm hoping that this one, obviously they're, they're, everything is the same. They're the exact same quality cables as before. And things happen. These things are made really cheaply, even though it's, you know, it comes in 
with, you know, it's an official licensed product, if you will. It's just a USB cable, and that's all it is. Any USB cable with that micro connection will work for you, just in case this happens to go bad on you as well. I don't know if anybody else had that problem, but I definitely had to, I mean, it was a quick fix, so I didn't really complain about it. I knew how to go about fixing it, whatever. I was hoping that they would put a longer cable on the controller this time around, but they chose not to do that. Why, I don't know. There are wireless options for you out there, so feel free to find one of those if you don't like the uh, just two foot, three foot long cable that they have, which I kind of don't, and I might invest in a wireless controller for this myself. When you turn on your Nintendo Classic console for the very first time, this is the menu that you see. You have an option of different languages. Of course, I'm gonna choose English because I'm an, oh, I'm American. And you're ready to go. Here is the menu. Balloon Fight, Bubble Bobble, Castlevania, Simon's Quest, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Double Dragon 2, Dr. Mario, Excite Bike, Final Fantasy, Galaga, Ghosts and Goblins, one of the hardest goddamn games ever, Gradius, or Gradius, however you want to pronounce that, Ice Climber, Kid Icarus, Kirby's Adventure, Mario Brothers, the arcade classic edition of that, the original arcade version of Mario Brothers, Mega Man 2, Metroid, Ninja Gaiden, Pac-Man, Punch-Out featuring Mr. Dream. I really wish that they would have done Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, but when Mike Tyson got accused of rape, Nintendo quickly pulled the plug on that guy. Star Tropics, Super C, Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 2, and Super Mario Brothers 3, Tecmo Bowl, Zelda, The Legend of Zelda, if you will, Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link, Balloon Fight, oh yeah, we're back at the beginning. <laughs> uh, it also tells you uh, which games are two player, which ones are single player, uh, 30 games. Now uh, you can also, let's see here, you have your display options, you can do pixel perfect, do 4x3, you can do a CRT filter to where it kind of like looks more like the old school, it has kind of like a, you can see there's lines across the screen. Uh, I don't mind the original, uh, the, the 4.3 if you will. Well anyway, let's find a game real quick. How about we just do, uh, let's see here, don't want to get sued, we'll use Ninja Gaiden. Because Nintendo, one of those companies that, if they see me putting up footage of their game, they'll be like, hey, this is mine. So we're going to go with Ninja Gaiden 2. Or, yeah, Ninja Gaiden, not Ninja Gaiden 2. Just regular old Ninja Gaiden. And I don't guarantee I'm not going to suck at this. But I will do my best for a little bit. I loved playing this game when I was a kid. It was so, God, so unbelievably difficult. And I loved every second of it. So happy to have this in my collection. I suck right now. There we go. <laughs> well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Plays great. Looks great. Reminds me of many days after school with some pizza rolls. Play at Ninja Gaiden and avoiding doing my homework. I hated homework. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving me a like. I want to comment down below if you have something to say. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Thanks again so much for watching, everybody. And I will see you in the next video.